Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Frostpunk in the last city on Earth. The great storm to end all storms is almost upon us everybody. It will be here in just a couple of days and in the meantime the temperature will drop. So it looks like we're looking at about three drops in the temperature right now. So it's probably going to get down to what? Minus 120 degrees ish? I don't know. I mean, that's pretty bad, but I think we might be able to make it. I mean, right now at minus 76, everyone is feeling very comfortable with our generator. Our generator is operating at steam level 4 now, and we are generating plenty of coal, thanks to the help of all of my automatons. Let's go ahead and get the uh, extra emergency shift in the workshop so we can keep getting some research. And you know something? I'm going to go ahead and dismantle the uh, hothouses. I don't think that these are going to be necessary for us. Because um, we already know that they're going to freeze and be useless in a couple of days. And we have plenty of food right now. Six months of soup. That's pretty good. So let's get rid of those and we can replace them with... What do we want? Do we want more infirmaries? These take up steam cores. Uh, we have one, two, three, four... Four infirmaries? I could have our automatons operate these if we wanted to and that would be fine. So maybe instead of those, for the time being, we can go for the House of Healing? That doesn't require a Steam Core, and it can still treat the Gravely Ill. But can an Automaton operate these things? I don't know, actually. Hang on. No, it cannot. Alright, so the House of Healing only works temporarily, but eventually will be restricted to only four infirmaries with medical Automatons operating inside of them. Still, for now, I think this is going to be fine. We'll go ahead and build these things out and have people work in them. Sure, why not? Public penance has begun by the generator. Yes, your last opportunity is to whip each other. You are not saved. You are not clean. You are not worthy. We may have crossed a line already here, guys. I know that I've said I'm not going to go ahead and make myself the voice of God. We're going for a good-ish ending. And yet somehow I just I got the feeling that maybe we already done screwed it up. Maybe we've already gone for too many of these really tyrannical laws and this isn't going to work out well for me. I'm not sure. Either way, let's go ahead and get some more stockpiles since we're looking pretty much capped out on rations. I think we're actually going to have plenty of wood and coal pretty soon. And there's been a fight over supplies. Sir, an argument empty, oh, sorry, erupted between some workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, and though nobody was seriously injured, tensions are running quite high. I guess that makes sense. So we're about to finish up with our automaton integration, which will greatly increase their efficiency, which is certainly quite good. That's done. Okay, now we can go for advanced heaters. Uh, medical automaton integration is very tempting to me, because this would allow us to uh, work at the medical facilities far more efficiently. And we may have to rely upon this, because when it gets really, really cold, we may not be able to send any engineers out to the infirmaries to take, uh, take care of the ill. So that's certainly one option. Alternatively, we have the uh, charcoal kiln upgrades, more coal for all the wood that we burn. That could be useful. Why are we so low on steel right now? Free time. Nobody's generating steel right now? How dare you? It's because I built so many of these stupid resource huts. Okay, well, in the meantime, let's go ahead and resource. Uh, sorry, research the charcoal kiln upgrade. My thought here is it just makes these more efficient straight up. I get more coal for as much wood as we have. This is my backup option. So, um, I wouldn't mind making that even more effective by 33%. It's pretty good, I hear. It's pretty darn good. Okay, uh, so let's see. We are going to go ahead and make a couple of spare prostheses on the off chance that I end up needing those in the near future. We are close to capped out on food rations, so let's do that. We'll also put some more wood. Um, probably a bit more coal and stuff as well. Coal, 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 wood. Uh, and now the temperature drops! It's minus 94 degrees! Oh, that is so cold! <laughs> that is so cold! Okay. No, it's fine. We'll make it. It'll be great. Um, oh! Well, maybe not if a mob storms the stockpiles. Sir, a crowd of terrified people has stormed the stockpiles and started plundering our supplies! We managed to fight them off, but they demand wood for heating to reinforce their homes. We need 1,420 wood to supply? That's a lot of wood! Um, <laughs> that's on my entire stockpile. That's my backup option. Now, here's the thing. If I thought that this was actually going to help increase their insulation to reinforce their homes, I would do this in a heartbeat, but I don't think it does. I can't afford for hope to fall because I'm not the voice of God. We have to disperse the crowd. Get out of here! 
Stop trying to steal my stuff! Trust me, I've led you through this so far! O oh, ye of little faith! That's biblical, right? Pretty sure. We'll stock up some more coal. Ah! I'm very annoyed by these stupid people. Very irritated. Alright, the charcoal kiln. Great, but I need 80 steel for the next research. Done. Let's go to industry. Medical automatons. We'll upgrade those just in case I find use for them. I suspect that we will. So we have two more steam cores. What should I do with them? More automatons is an option. It's not even a bad option, per se. I kind of like it. Um, try building a couple more automatons before the storm hits. Oh, wait. Who's super cold? Ah, okay, hang on. This cookhouse. Right. Uh, let's not have anyone work here. We're not even producing enough, like, food and stuff for this to be worth it. We have an automaton making meals over here. I think we'll be fine. So, yeah, we'll leave that off. And somebody got frostbite any anyway. Okay. Kind of sucks, but... Oh, well. Um, we don't need heats here. I think we're fine. Medical automaton research is already done. Let's go ahead and get the advanced generators in case I find use for those. We may or may not. We are out of steel once again, and a new automaton has been built. We're building another one, thanking you. Um, <clears throat> let us have you operate uh, one of these gathering posts. Are we still have an automaton? We do still have an automaton gathering from the coal pile directly. Same here. Okay, turn those off and put an automaton here. And here. Okay, do we still have any unemployed automatons? No. So we're looking pretty solid is what you're trying to tell me. Good. I like that. Um, so that's the last of our steam cores then. Now we could have gone for some upgrades in the coal mines, but... Honestly, just being able to operate the gathering posts we already have during this storm I think will be fine. So I'm not too worried about it. The temple has managed to influence some people. Good. Um... We will do one final nighttime procession. Everyone will walk in circles. And we'll feel great about ourselves. Uh, let's do a sermon. <clears throat> One final service there. We could do some evening prayers as well. I guess we might as well and let the two-day uh, cooldown start expiring. Could pass the new law. <clears throat> but I'm not going to make myself the voice of God. And I'm not going to become God. We're not going to go for the new faith. I know some people want me to do this because it would be hilarious and it also fits this channel because no matter what I do, I seem to start new religions and cults. But we don't need to do this. We're gonna be fine. Let's turn on the heater. We're going for the good-ish ending. The best I can, though I suspect we may have already messed ourselves up a little bit. The, the, the righteous denunciation and the public penance laws, I think, were, um, were a little bit of overkill. So maybe we shouldn't have done that. Temperature drops! Minus 112 degrees now. How cold are we looking? Pretty dang cold. We probably should not have people working down over here. Wait, hang on. This thing's turning on. Okay. We're okay. Yeah, as long, as long as the steam hubs are turning on, we're going to be fine. We'll leave you guys on for now. New event. What do we got? Tip from a believer. Someone was hoarding. Well, shouldn't have that happen, but okay. Um, new temple, blah, blah, blah. Discontent. I'm not worried about discontent. I just care about hope. Technology's about to be done here. Excellent. Thank you. Um, nothing we need here. Nothing we need here. We finished the entire heating tree. Could go for the charcoal kiln bellows, which just increases the rate at which they are converted. That's not terrible. None of this is useful to me, so I guess this is the last thing to research. Or maybe the coal thumper injectors. Let's do that instead. I think that'll be fine. Uh, I just want my coal thumpers to operate a little bit faster. Maybe? New automaton has been built. Hello! You are... The White Greenlander. That seems a little bit weird. The White Greenlander? All right, let's operate another one of these gathering posts uh, permanently. What happened here? Losing a limb. One of our people has had to undergo an amputation. Working in the freezing cold left them with no choice. Uh, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I wasn't aware that it was super freaking cold over here. All right, let's not work over here anymore. And these houses are cold. Okay, hang on. We have enough coal coming in. We can get another steam hub. Let's place one right here. Um, and you know what? We'll do another one over here. We have a lot of coal coming in right now. I think we can handle it. Um, how cold is it? I guess this one was out of range. Oops. I am so sorry. All right, we need to get some prostheses. Apparently a couple of people lost some limbs. Let's build a few just to be safe. Who knows how many more people are going to have to chop off an arm during this. Um, so yeah, more prostheses are good. 
Uh, coal thumpers have been upgraded. Excellent. We'll go for the charcoal kiln bellows. And that is the last useful piece of technology. After that, I think we just straight up stop. Now, we know that the final storm is on its way, so I'm going to start uh, removing everyone from their jobs. I do not want anyone going outside during this cold. Thank you and Yali for firing off the fire alarm. Wonderful timing! That didn't make me jump at all! Okay. Well, I love my wife, but there's times when things get messed up. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, hang on. Unemployment. Are we done here with processes? A couple more to go. Did she freaking burn my biscuits? I think she freaking burned my biscuits. All right, hang on. You're sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. Don't you know we're all about to die from the storm? We need those biscuits and soup. More soup. We have a year's supply of soup. Good thing about soup is it freezes really well. Okay, we can turn off these medical posts. I'm just trying to turn off all these jobs. I'm leaving the clock running. Um, but like all these people here, they're all going to die if they go to work when this cold hits. So let's turn all of this off. All of this off. Nice blimp. Come back home. Oh, good. It just immediately just landed. That's cool. Turn these off. I wish there was a mass unemployment button. Is there an option for that somewhere? I don't think so. These guys are returning home. Having a good day out there, uh, hunting polar bears from your blimps? It's like shooting a moose out of the back of a helicopter. <laughs> Sarah Palin would be proud, I have no doubt. All right, we don't need any more steel, so we're going to have to just turn this off. That's the last bit we're going to get. Uh, let's do an emergency shift here in the workshop. It's our last chance. Um, any more prayers and stuff? I guess we can do some captain's words. I got some, some firm words for you people. That's all off. There's a field kitchen. Aha. Almost missed that. Um, House of Healing will turn off. Will turn off. Infirmaries have to be off. Do we have any still on, actually? Okay, hang on. Leave that on. Uh, I don't think we need the Faith Keepers anymore. And I'm not sure I want to have anyone do more public penance. Uh, Hunter's Lodge. This one is done. Okay, so all we have are engineers and doctors. Are the prostheses done? No. They're not. Um, they're not going to make any more progress until tomorrow. Are they even going to go to work in this cold? They might. I don't want to do an emergency shift for that. I don't think it's worth it. All right. This is going to have to be good enough. It's going to have to be good enough. The cold is on its way. I think there's nothing else to do but sit back and wait. Charcoal kiln is done. Excellent. No new tech that I care about. You guys, go home and be with your families. It's your last opportunity to hold them close. It's so sad. It's so sad, everybody. I actually might want to stop producing as much wood and have uh, just an automaton work this instead. I will. I'm going to have an automaton operate the infirmary. Let's not worry about it. As soon as you're done making... Oh, wait. We actually have no more amputees. Never mind. Everyone go home. Forget the prostheses. We don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. So we have nothing but automatons working in the city. Yes? Okay, that's good. That's perfect. Uh, this sawmill has no more wood, so this is worthless. Let's instead have... We don't even need an automaton working the cookhouse anymore, right? So let's have another automaton operate the infirmary and go back to generating some more wood. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right, nothing to do. Here comes the storm! The wind, I can't even hear my own thoughts. Oh, you have no idea. The storm hits the city! A howling gale bursts upon the city, and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards rattling windows. Trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hothouses will freeze. We'll have to make do with the food we've stockpiled. The city must survive. We prepared well. Now all let's do is to let, wait until it passes. Oh! No! When you said that it was going to drop in temperature, I thought that was it. You lied to me. It's going to drop three more times. <laughs> okay. Well, um, right now, everyone's feeling fairly comfortable. This is good. Let's turn off the generators where we don't need them. They may leave those places. We have enough coal coming in. We can probably leave the rest on, though. Uh, we don't need heaters here anymore. Um, I guess we'll leave this on for the couple of houses down here. Uh, hands just hanging under this mat. Okay, we're fine in terms of heat right now. I'm gonna have to manage this generator's overdrive really carefully is what I'm thinking is gonna happen. We don't need any heat in the child shelter. There should be no children in the child shelter. Children need to stay with their parents right now. 
Um, let's do another ceremonial service. That'll bring back some hope to the peoples. Oh, it's gonna get cold. Oh, it's gonna get cold. Ah! Ah! I don't know if we can handle this. Danger of collapse. Sir, one of our engineers wants to talk to you. He's concerned about the danger that the cold poses to our mines. We're doing everything we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping into the shafts is so cold now that the hydraulic roof supports are starting to collapse. Or freeze, sorry. When they do, the tunnels will start collapsing. You're telling me that the mines that I invested so many steam cores in are about to fail me? This is unacceptable! No! I can't accept that. <laughs> no, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We can't produce this much wood. Okay, let's go and start burning some of it in the charcoal kiln. Um, we're actually producing more coal than we're using at night. The automatons are doing their job very nicely. Hell has frozen over. Not yet it hasn't, but it's about to. You didn't think it was possible. Hey, newsflash, it got even colder. Minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit. Good God. Seriously, good God. Can we pray some more? The mines are freezing. Sir, it is so cold the hydraulic roof supports and our coal mines are failing. If the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We could either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports, but the task is extremely dangerous. Ten volunteers will be sent to each mine. Some of them may die. And by some, you probably mean all, right? <laughs> we, we... Ah! 80%? The output of all types of coal mines will fall by 80%. We have charcoal kilns for this very reason. I'm not gonna let anyone die. No one dies on my watch! You will live, gosh dang it! <laughs> a tip from a believer. More hoarders. Okay. Hunt them down and execute them. Wait, no. That would be crossing the line. Just give them a slap on the wrist then. I don't care. Righteous denunciation has led us to some free supplies. Again. That's good. Very good. We can't keep making wood, so let's go ahead and burn some more of the char uh, the stuff into charcoal. We seem to be doing just fine as far as I'm concerned, but what's the... 22.8? Wasn't it like 68 or something before? Crap, we have so little coal coming through the mines now, but we're still doing fine. The charcoal kilns are doing their job. We are still at equilibrium, and nobody is sick. They've all been treated by our automatons. Giant cutting knives from the roof. It's not scary, it's science. Shut up, you cowards. Let the, let the automatons take care of you. Truly a marvel of human ingenuity. Oh god, it's about to get cold. I like that the music has changed, by the way. It's really intense now. Fear of a coal shortage. Sir, the output of our coal mines has fallen so low that people are terrified will freeze during the storm. We better do something about it. We could build more coal thumpers, two and six gathering posts. Are you insane? We'll make it anyway. I know the discontent goes up and hope drops, but we'll make it. Let's just have a sermon and tell him it's going to be fine. Evening prayers. Let's do all that too. Look, it's going to be fine. We have five days worth of coal as it is, not to mention the amount that we're currently stockpiling on top of all of that. We will be fine, people. Stop whining. We're going to be fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, food is still good. We still have about a year's supply of frozen soup. That's good. Um, um, there's nothing else to do but sit back and wait. Okay, how much colder is it gonna get, do you think? I, 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 I'm, I'm starting to wonder if we're gonna get to like a minus 180. But then what? Is it just gonna keep this for forever? Oh, gosh. Minus 166. Oh, no. Coal theft! Sir, someone stole 2,388 coal! It seems that not everyone believes the assurances that our supplies will last. Sometimes egoism, or simply fear, sways people. Send our men after the thieves! I'm not gonna let hope fall again. No, send our men! Oh my god, and 82 people just got super sick. Okay. Oh, okay. It's cold. Now's the time to start kicking this thing into overdrive for a bit, yes? Now, we're going to need some of it ready to go for tomorrow because we know it's going to get even colder. But whenever it's at zero, we're wasting some of our potential, so we might as well have it on a little bit so that when we turn it off, it has something to burn down. Just in terms of thinking of inverse resources, the lack of something in and of itself is an inefficiency. So yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> Coal Thumper is still doing its job. These automatons are doing great. Good job, King's Laplander, the Red Highlander, um, the White Midlander. The Saint Scotsman, that one's my favorite. 
Hokey smokes, though. This game is getting intense. Now, I know for you guys, you see a video like every other day, so it doesn't feel like it's that big of a deal, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, as somebody who's playing several episodes in a row, this is freaking tense. Let's turn this thing off and let it burn off for a little bit, because it's about to get a lot colder. A lot colder. And while we're still only cold and not frozen, we might as well. Um, we have a lot of people who are still sick. I think we're okay in terms of our coal production. I'm going to turn off another one of these gathering posts and instead move to an infirmary. And we're going to turn on some heat here. Um, this infirmary is still cold. It's so cold it can't operate. Well, that's part of our problem. Okay, so we have that. Uh, this needs heat as well. Now we have really good insulation in our um, healthcare, right? Oh, yeah, they're doing great. Well, then, freaking heck, man. Yeah. Everyone go and stack up inside of the infirmaries. We can fit a couple hundred people in there, right? It's really warm in there. All right, we're still generating a pretty hefty amount of coal. Hell has frozen over. Oh, now it's about to. Oh, now it's about to. Uh, care house. It's too cold. Well, there's nobody in there anyway. Minus 184 degrees. It's so freaking cold. All right, turn on the generator. What's the temperature look like? It's chilly, but we'll survive it. Darkness before dawn. Sir, one of our engineers has come crashing through the door, white-faced, demanding to see you. I've run the calculations with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread and people are losing all hope. We have to stay strong. No, no, don't do the free. Stop giving up, people will make it! This means that if anybody dies, we're pretty much screwed. A tip from a believer, we'll follow the lead, it'll be great. Hokey freaking crud! No! I'm treating all of you that I can! We have only one more infirmary that's not being operated. Alright, alright, forget, um... Forget this gathering post, go and work this. Wait, did I not? Hang on. No, you, yo, no, uh, off. Thank you. Go here. Heat on. I'm treating all that I can. We can only treat like 40 at a time, but they're working really well. We're making our way through it, technically. What's the stress levels? Pretty high. All right. I've got some words for you, people. Stop being jerks. We'll make it. I say that we'll make it. We will make it. Now is the perfect time for some sermons and evening prayers. Get that hope back up. Get it up. Ah! All right, the overdrive. There's the end. Okay, we just have to make it one more day. Oh, crap. I don't think our overdrive can make it that long. We have to turn it off a little bit. Oh, and immediately everyone starts getting sick again. Immediately. Okay. Oh, wonderful. I'm just trying to let this tick down so we can use it for the final push. Okay. Uh, let's turn it back on for a little bit. Just try and prevent people from getting some frostbite. We'll keep alternating back on and off. If I have to ride this puppy all the way to 99%, by God, I'm going to do it. We're going to make it. <gasps> Miracles happen. Sir, it's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but when they got lost and then they had to wait for a lull in the blizzard to find their way back. They are both exhausted and frostbitten, but very happy. I'm very happy to hear that. How did you survive out there in minus 184 degrees Fahrenheit? Somehow me thinks this is not supposed to be possible. All right, we're going to let this tick down just a little bit more. A little bit more. And... And... Back on. Okay. Discontent is rising. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's fine. We'll do a ceremonial service to commemorate this. Pray, everybody! Pray that we make it through! Hold your families close. The dawn is coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit. It's so freaking cold. Oh! Everyone is freezing. Everyone is freezing. There's nothing we can do. If I turn off the generator, I think we all die. We just need to make it a couple hours. Just a couple of hours! <laughs> Please don't give up on me, guys! Yes! The storm has ended and we didn't lose anybody! The wind dies down and the temperature finally starts to rise and eerie silence descends upon the city! 
and we didn't have to cross the line. Whoa, look at that temperature. Oh, wait, yes. Okay, turn off the generator. Let's not blow it up now. Oh, my God. Minus 30. That's beautiful temperature. It's like it's summer. It's over. I cannot believe it. It's finally over. We made it. We survived. We made it. Oh! We have survived! That was so freaking intense! Hokey smokes, that was so exhausting, <laughs> but awesome. Ooh, time lapse. Started as a band of heathens cast out of Haven? You didn't mean heaven, did you? Because maybe you meant Haven. I don't know. Either way, oh my god, that was so intense, though! Freaking heck, man. Again, you don't see it as much every other video, but playing it straight, you get an emotional attachment. It gets nuts. First, we decided to tighten our belts. So tight our guts were sticking out. And then thin soup became our main meal. So much soup. Yes, we had a year's supply of frozen soup. Every day was a struggle. Every day was suffering. But we made it somehow. We adapted. Is this like my final speech at, like to the people as the captain or something? Or is this like a historical recollection? Violent public penance. Denouncing infidels. Vigilant faith keepers. Yet I fear... Uh oh. We have gone too far. No, I still got the bad ending. Or maybe as good as I can. I don't know. Faith was abused. Gosh dang it. Was it abused that badly, though? Maybe. The city survived, but was it worth it? I'm gonna go with yes. What kind of a stupid question is that? We lived. 1887, New London. 678 souls at minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Practically a walk in the park. We can handle that forever. Oh my god. Frostpunk, everybody. The first scenario. What a fantastic game! Ah! I love that it doesn't play like a game like Banish where you get a lot of resources and then you feel like you can just coast off of your economy for the rest of the game and it gets easier and easier. It keeps ramping up the difficulty and brings that sense of urgency that I absolutely adore. So good! I love the music, I love the theme and the artistic aesthetic of it all. I like the mechanics of it. The story is great. It's such a good game. I hate to sound overly dramatic, but this actually might be one of my favorite games that I have ever played, and I'm not even kidding. And that's not even the end. There are more scenarios we can play. The Arcs. As the brightest minds of Oxford and Cambridge, we have been sent to save priceless seed and plant specimens from the eternal winter. Do we have what it takes to keep the seedling Arcs safe? Now let's see, that's just so cool! We might have to come back to Frostpunk at some point, but for now, guys, I think we're just gonna have to take a bit of a break. That was such a fun experience. Well done, 11-Bit Studios. Thank you. It was truly a treat. This is a game I was looking forward to for a long time, and it was well worth the wait. Wonderful game. Highly recommend it to anyone who wants to give it a shot. Thank you all very much for watching the series. I do hope that you enjoyed as much as I did. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button to show your support. Leave a comment. Tell me how your experience in Frostpunk went. Subscribe if you are new, and of course, hit that notify button if you want to see my future content. My name is Provis. This has been Frostpunk, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>